have released a discussion paper about the future of the College of the Arts and Music. There's been a long-running campaign against the University of Melbourne that has led to, as the Vice-Chancellor, Glyn Davis, told us the other day, a process to consult and include the various stakeholders about the future of the College of the Arts. Professor Sharman Pretty is the Dean of the College of the Arts. Professor Pretty, good morning. Good morning, John. It's a comprehensive discussion paper. How do people get hold of it, first of all? Uh, it's online. We are sending out a large number of copies, but it's online at... Um, do you want me to tell people the sure. address? So it's um, vcam, v-c-a-m dot unimelb dot edu dot au slash discussion. Um, if you go to the University of Melbourne website and navigate your way around, you'd put in... Um, okay. you know, uh, it's got a series of questions open for discussion. There's more than 20 of them, but number 22 to me seems the key one, which is just questioning whether or not it should in the future continue, the College of the Arts should continue to be part of the University of Melbourne. Are you serious about demergering? Well, these questions are there for discussion, John. This is not anybody's particular position. Um, clearly, the university has supported the, um, the form of ECA now for nearly 20 years in one form or another, including awarding its degrees. Um, so the university has demonstrated its interest and commitment to the, uh, to the VCA over a very long period. However, um, there are members of the community who, including quite recently, as you know, have voiced another opinion. So this is an opportunity for those who don't share the university's um, current position to put forward their voice in, a, in, in an orderly and perhaps one could call it an uncostumed way, um, in such a way that they can lay out how they think that would happen, what it would mean for the future of the arts in Victoria and how they believe that could be structured, financed and delivered because they are the sorts of questions that one has to be very realistic about. Okay, I mean, so, are... so with the debate for instance over the Melbourne Business School that led to the abandonment of plans to merge it with the Faculty of Commerce and Economics, the same could happen with the College of Arts? If there's a groundswell of opposition against the Melbourne Uni model, it could stand alone again? I don't want to speculate about any of the outcomes, John. The questions are here to be asked and people need to make their submissions based on the information that's in provided in this booklet but also um, on whatever other information they have to hand because you'll also note um, question 24 invites people to put forward other structures that, that we may not have thought of and um, in these kinds of consultation processes the university has often found that people come up with an idea that nobody's thought of before and we're pretty interested to listen to every possible opportunity because at the end of the day we have the interest of the staff and the students at hand and we're concerned about delivering the best possible uh, creative arts education for the community of Melbourne. And needless and, and to say you have to have ideas about where the money's going to come from if indeed that's your, uh, your suggestion is that the university should no longer be the auspicing body. Well, that's exactly right, because um, we will be considering all the options that come forward, but clearly we have to be able to deliver viable options, or somebody has to be able to deliver viable options. It would be tremendously sad if the VCA returned to an independent status without the funding that it needed and found that um, there are more significant difficulties than people have already um, thought of. So I think it's extremely important that people focus on viable options that will deliver a significant future for the arts. Um, at the end of the day, we want to get beyond on this situation where we are coping and just getting by in the arts in the higher education sector. This is quite a widespread problem. We all want to move way beyond that. We want to have a sustainable, very significant future. All right. Now, do you give an undertaking that there won't be any further changes to the status quo whilst the period of consultation is on? Because already for next year, some of the uh, uh, changes to curriculum and class sizes and what's on offer are uh, being introduced even while you're promising to have an open and full uh, consultation process. Well, our plans for 2010 are pretty well set now, John, um, but we do have to keep business as usual going. I mean, we have hundreds, 2,000 students that we're dealing with at the moment, supporting and, and moving through their education and our staff and so on. We can't um, snap freeze things in time. Um, but also, you know, in any strategic planning process or any uh, policy development process, one has to continue business as usual until such a time as there's a signal to change direction. Well, that's taking its toll. Normal. You've got staff turnover, you've got students who may not want to go while the place is in a state of flux and uncertainty. We have very good applications for next year. We've completed a lot of the auditions. Um, the cohort is looking fabulous. Um, we don't have any concerns about delivering right. excellent programs next year for the All students right. who are coming to us. And just finally, uh, the university discussion paper says uh, there'll be an independent chair of this yes. process. Uh, if the university chooses the chair, how independent will the chair be? 
Well, the chair will be a person from outside the university um, with a broad uh, understanding of these issues and with a, a track record of being able to take a very even position over these kinds of, um, these kinds of discussions. And uh, so... Been? Pardon? Who is it? Oh, that is not yet finalised. There are some discussions underway with um, one or two options, but um, when we've got that in place, we'll announce that. All right. Well, our time today is brief, but clearly there was a lot of emotion and this has been uh, brought about. I'd say, uh, do you concede that this consultation is the result of the campaign that's been run? There was always going to be consultation, John. We've said that from the beginning. This is entirely consistent with the processes that the university right. has run around other things like the introduction of the Melbourne model and the other degrees within that. We've always said that. Some of the options uh, that you've referred to um, are probably taking things further than we might have wanted to, but the public has, has shown us and our stakeholders have shown us that they want these issues revisited and, and uh, clarified, and we're very happy to do that. All right. Well, uh, certainly I look forward to learning more as the process goes through. And Thank you for your time today. The Dean of the Faculty of the College of the, of the VCA in Music, the Victorian College of the Arts and Music, Professor Sharman Pretty, and that discussion paper is online and that process is now up and running. Thank you for talking to me today. That's a pleasure. Thanks, John. Hi, I'm Hilary Harper.